Hey guys, welcome to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name's Daniel Rosal. This is the YouTube channel where I put up my tech videos. So if you share the same tech interests in me in uh, Linux and videography, do feel free to uh, drop in with a uh, subscription link. I want to talk today about one of those incredibly powerful but simple pieces of software which is the best software and that is uh, a render and it's basically just a graphical user interface for a gui for x render so if like me you're using your ubuntu linux computer as a desktop and you like working with multiple displays this little guy makes it uh, easy to configure your screens exactly as you want them and doesn't do much more than that i know that for the latest ubuntu the latest desktop environment um there are different tools baked into the operating system the nice thing about this one is you can use it with different desktop environments so i'm using lxde uh, that's the de you can see on my desktop here and uh, this is what I, I use to manage my screens so as you can three see here i have a three desktop uh three screen array going um my outputs are edit are named a bit stupidly i have a hdmi one three and two i changed the driver and got stuck like that and i just couldn't really be uh be bothered changing it but let me show you guys how this works so it's drag and drop basically right so i have these ordered a b c but i can just as easily say i want to put this display here and i want to put this here so what you want to do the first time um you know if it doesn't if you install this program which is in the repos and it doesn't put your displays correctly uh you can just drag and drop like you might have kind of a weird setup going on you might have uh you know a monitor one and two in a dual vertical stand and one off to the side you can do that just you know dragging the monitors just like i did uh, or you might have something more conventional like the one i'm using which is just kind of three screens together or you might have a wacky three vertical array whatever floats your boat and however you like to work uh, you can do it now you can see i can even create sort of like little offsets right if you have an even stranger monitor setup and you had your two screens on a stand um, and then you had one in the center you could do that and what we're doing when we're dragging and dropping our screens before clicking the apply icon is basically just creating a file uh, that's going to have these baked into it i'm going to just go back into a render now so if you so that's how you can arrange your screens uh, in a render and when you're done you want to click on the uh, arrow button and then you want to click on the save button but we'll cover that separately so if you right click on one of the displays here um, you can choose to make it active not active primary not primary and then you can change the resolution okay and this should detect the maximum supported monitor resolution but if you want to go to a lower resolution for whatever reason you're able to do that too so you can see i can descale all the way down to 320 by 180 but i can't think off the top of my head of any reason why you wouldn't want to use the max supported resolution so my three screens here are 1920 by 1080. Um, the next option you have here after resolution is orientation and you can go for normal right inverted left so we talked before about unusual screen displays and something uh, that i've played around with a bit before when you have your monitors set up on an array is you can put one of them in vertical mode you know kind of a document view situation so the way you would do this is let's say i wanted to have my right screen and my three screen set up as a vertical monitor so i'd right click i'd go resolution sorry i'd go orientation and i'd pop that over to right um, and that would mean i'd need to uh, rotate the monitor to the right or alternatively if for whatever reason i'd prefer to rotate to the left uh, i can do that as well and then you just want to click on your um, apply and that'll save all these so i'm just going to go ahead now and undo that weird uh, that unusual orientation and go for normal now let's say you've got everything set up as you want it right because most people day to day you want to configure your monitors as you want to use them you want to save that configuration and you don't want to go through this process each time so what you can do is layout and there's a save as option here and when you click on save as you're going to be able to save uh, a .sh executable file 
in a uh, layout in a folder that's populated called dot screen layout so I'm gonna call this you can see I have one called default but I'm just gonna create this one and call it demo because I'm creating it for this uh, YouTube demo and I'm just gonna click on save now what you can do then if you want to see what you what you've created by using the GUI is go into that folder and then open up that little um, file that sh file I'm gonna just open it in mousepad which is like a super basic text editor I'm very fond of these lightweight programs and this is what I created using the program and it's got all those uh, parameters that I passed starting with the uh, bin sh then you've got x render so again this is just a front end to x render right minus minus I put dvi d1 is off my dvi the dvi I put on my graphics card is off hdmi one output is set as the primary it's running in mode 1920 by 1080 we're not doing uh, its position is zero zero that's the left monitor right zero offset from the left rotations normal dp1 is off output hdmi 2 it's also running 1920 by 1080 um, this is actually 3840 is 920 by 2 so that's actually my right monitor normal rotation and then finally hdmi 3 it's running in 1920 by 1080 its position is 1920 offset from the left so that's my center monitor and its rotation is normal so it doesn't really get much more uh, simple than that now if you want to have this running automatically so you've got your uh, bash script your dot sh and all you really need to do is you know have that set to go off automatically now because I'm using LXDE um, we have this LX session configuration thing and I can go into auto start and you can see I've just added that bash script Daniel desktop monitor default audit sh and that means that when my session boots up uh, it'll automatically run this configuration and set my screens up and that's pretty much all I ever have to do and I turn on my computer log in and my uh, my three monitors are arranged just as I want every time thanks for watching hope this has been helpful and feel free to subscribe for more videos